Thank you to Surfshark for sponsoring today's video. Hi, it's me, Katie. Welcome back to Steal the Spotlight. Today, I'm going to be doing my interpretation slash restyling of the Powerpuff Girls. Um, I'm sure most of us by now have seen these cursed images of the proposed CW live action. No, thank you. No, mm. thank you. No, mm -hmm. thank you. But I love seeing people's different ideas on how they would have started. So I figured I'd give it a go myself, even though I have actually done a Powerpuff Girls lookbook a few years ago. You guys know I've been doing character lookbooks for quite some time, but I feel like we can deem that one irrelevant. Today's is going in a very different direction. I absolutely loved the Powerpuff Girls, hence the suitcase from when I was younger. Even my room at my dad's house was painted lime green with buttercup merch everywhere. <laughs> like this is a series very close to my heart yet still I have just no desire to see a live action aged up remake. Just does not appeal to me. And I'm not sure why networks keep trying to push these childhood nostalgic shows that we love so much into this darker, edgier vibe. I feel very attacked. So today, instead of just doing looks for that particular brief, I'm actually doing a couple of other briefs as well. And the first one I want to start off with is literally just if they bought back the cartoon or maybe even the anime adaptation. So for this sort of theme, I still want to keep it really fun, vibrant and youthful. I'm thinking of still aging them up more to an animated high school sort of setting, think like Totally Spies. In my mind, the girls are all still on good terms, kicking ass, but also loving themselves. A trendy little wardrobe moment, specifically sticking to their designated monochromatic color. Because of this, I think you'd want all the girls' outfits to somewhat fall under the same aesthetic, at least to a certain degree, because they are still presenting as a united front. So you want there to be some sort of continuity there. First up, I've got Blossom, and I'm pegging her as the biggest trend follower of the bunch. So pretty much anything you would expect to see on your Instagram explore page is what she would be wearing. But of course, just make sure it is in the pink and red color combo. I think she'd be frothing out the mouth for these checkered pants. So that's what I decided to base the entire look around. I thought they teamed up really cute with the little strawberry tee. I tried to keep it fun and playful with the accessories, particularly with the mismatched layered hair clips. I love this look. It's definitely a soft nod to some of the J fashion subcultures like Decora. So I think this would particularly work well if it was an anime setting. I know a lot of people head cannon bubbles in that soft girl sort of trope so I definitely wanted to work that in for her look. Originally I was going for that signature soft girl uniform you guys know the one I mean but it was looking a little bit too not basic but I guess kind of bland only because when you compared it to the other two girls looks for this category it was just missing that little bit of extra oomph. So with how my brain works, I instantly fall back to my style icon, Hyanna, and try and come up with some layering options that I think she would wear if she was Bubbles. Which pretty much means you're not gonna push it too extreme, but it could still be considered somewhat questionable by some people. Typically, I wouldn't really go for florals in this instant, but since it is that more oversized, almost clip art inspired looking flowers, I think that it can still work for that cartoon theme. I think this look has the most cutesy vibe to it of the trio so definitely think that it is on brand for bubbles for buttercup i was kind of torn because we could have gone for something much darker more latex based think kind of like shigo from kim possible but like i said for this concept i wanted them to still match and kind of fall under the same aesthetic so this is what i came up with i think the bright green and plaid pleated skirt definitely still play into this branding but we kind of have her look like she's more inspired by a true superhero with this kind of transparent green plastic trench coat, the harness belt to cinch everything in, and then the fishnets and knee-high boot combo. I think this is a really cool look, definitely reads anime to me, and also e-girl. So we kind of have the three girls all representing one of the most trendy aesthetics at the moment. E-girl, soft girl, and then, I don't know, like Pinterest girl for Blossom, I suppose. Yet they all still work well with one another. Before we get into my next couple of concepts, I wanna give a big thank you to today's video sponsor, which is Surfshark. Surfshark is a VPN, AKA a virtual private network. And if you're regulars here for my character and spad lookbooks, you know, this comes in handy for many a things, but my personal favorite is still the fact that it grants you more access to some of your favorite streaming services. For example, the version of Netflix you see can be completely different to someone on the other side of the world, but with Surfshark, you're able to quickly and easily change your location settings and voila, 
instantly have access to a ton more content. You'll be able to play around and figure out what regions offer more of what you love and suits you best. If you're interested in trying out my own hometown, I'll tell you we have a lot of K-dramas to offer you, but personally, I find myself logging into either Singapore or Thailand to get my anime fix. And I love that you don't have to worry if you share your Netflix account with other people because Surfshark is actually the only VPN to offer unlimited devices under just one account. We all know majority of the time I live in cozy sweaters and don't leave the house, but on the off chance I am, they still have me covered, ensuring my privacy and safety online by protecting all of my personal information. This means stuff like not having to worry about using potentially sketchy public Wi-Fi. If you use my code SPOTLIGHT, you can get 83% off plus three extra months for free. And since Surfshark offer a money back guarantee, you can try it all risk-free via the link on screen or down below in the description box. Okay, for the next set of looks, I am gonna be trying to stick more closely to the proposed CW brief which I don't actually really know what is other than I believe the term edgy is used because it almost always is when they come to ruin our childhood. Um, you know what? Let's actually look up what the brief says. Okay, so they are now disillusioned 20-somethings who resent having lost their childhood to crime fighting. Will they agree to reunite now that the world needs them more than ever? But when the world needed him most, he vanished. So what my brain is computing that as is they're pretty much just college students living their own life, doing their own thing. And I think we can have their outfits really express themselves and their personalities a little bit more. And also we don't have to worry about them being cohesive whatsoever. So let's just go with it from an individual perspective. Realistically, I don't even think they'd be wearing their designated color because if they resent their childhood of crime fighting, I don't think they want any sort of attachment left over, but for the purpose of television, I feel like you definitely still want the audience to see that nod. So I am going to still have them in their color, but it's not going to be a head to toe, vibrant, monochromatic moments. Um, let's start off with Buttercup and you'll see what I mean. For her instantly, I envisioned a very K fashion, androgynous street style sort of look. It's very fuss free, minimal, unisex, and quite shapeless as well. I think this fits in great with some of the key characteristics we've learned and loved her for throughout the cartoon series. Again, because of that K fashion, influence. I can see her in a lot of blacks and neutral tones in general, but I decided to go for this really muted olive green for the hoodie. This is my subtle nod at her color story without just hitting you over the head with it. I think it still works in this realm. Originally, I wanted to give each of the girls a college major because I thought it would kind of help me come up with the outfit a bit better, but I wasn't too sure for Buttercup. So let me know what you think, but I don't know, maybe like programming, software engineer sort of vibes. I could also totally see her not having a degree, but just knowing what she needs to do. Okay, for Blossom, um, I feel like she's a little bit pretentious, a little bit snobby. So I'm thinking maybe she's in New York doing a fashion marketing degree. Just judging from the promo photo, I think this is quite a different direction than what they're gonna be going with. Um, it's kind of that edgy equals moto jacket <laughs> avenue, which I don't quite understand. And they also seemingly are gonna push for more of red rather than pink as her signature color, which I feel like is a mistake. Just because something's supposed to be darker doesn't mean that they can't still enjoy pink. Don't really get that one. With that being said, I'm still very much actually following a CW stereotype, which is that Blair Waldorf, um, Veronica from Riverdale, I can't remember her last name. It's just kind of rich, preppy, not super relatable. And I do think if you were pitching this sort of styling, someone would probably hold you at gunpoint and force you to put a headband on the actor. So. I also included that. I do think it's really cute though. I mean, hello, I own all the pieces in this video, so obviously I like it. For Bubbles, we've already kind of dipped our toe in that soft girl aesthetic, which I know a lot of people would be expecting here too, but I wanted to switch it up a little bit. And I do see her trying to pursue a career in something involving either animals or environmental. So I thought potentially this sort of vibe could fit better with that particular headcanon. I don't actually really know what to label this style as. I guess it's just like like a little bit more free spirited. I don't know, the long flowy skirts. I've got the crochet cardigan, which yes, 
again doing the subtle nod to her color story. Personally I think this is equally as effective in getting across that sweet innocence of bubbles. Also you may have noticed that all three looks are grounded with black clothing items and this is just because when you're out in the real world I feel like most people have a lot of black clothes in their wardrobe so I don't know I feel like this adds more of an element of realism to it. This theme is my wild card of the bunch. I haven't personally seen anyone else mention it. Doesn't mean that it hasn't already been put out there but it's pretty much to have a retro 70s kind of piss take of themselves. Um, I don't know with the success of things like WandaVision where they had that really corny cheesy retro sitcom element to it. I feel like this could actually be successful kind of having a bit of a Charlie's Angels sort of theme to it. Hopefully you get what I'm saying. I pretty much just tried to do outfits that I could picture in that 70s show which still tied into the character colors but unfortunately it doesn't so much lean to their individual personalities. It's just retro themed. Of course I had to feature a jumpsuit. The only one I had was in the chambray denim so yes it went to bubbles. Ideally I feel like a jumpsuit would be more fitting on Blossom though but we're making it work. Um, I did actually want to bring this up because sometimes I get comments like oh you should have done this or that and a lot of the time I'm like yeah I agree but unfortunately do not have unlimited access to resources or money so we're making it work with what I have in my wardrobe so I don't know. I'm sorry I guess. Since my hand was kind of forced to have bubbles in pants I knew I wanted to have buttercup in pants as well but then since we usually have blossom in the center I would have her in a skirt or dress because I'm just trying to picture if you're doing up like a graphic for marketing that it would look nice and balanced and cohesive. So yes I put buttercup in some high-waisted black flare jeans and I do actually think these would suit her personality if she was in the 70s. I teamed it with brown accessories and then bought that pop of green into the top. The halter style silhouette and the stripe pattern both are perfectly on brand for this sort of throwback rendition. And then for Blossom I wasn't quite sure if I had anything to perfectly hit the mark but I did have this pink terry tailing dress which is a very 70s focus trend. I broke it up with the red sweater vest and then matched that with the boots but I think what really just carries me across the line is the addition of that silk neck scarf. I think they could totally be a badass crime fighting trio. I don't know. I just thought it could be a cool concept to try and explore a little bit. This is actually a really fun little twist on my usual character lookbook so I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what other shows you might want to see in the future. I am always open and listening to requests so thank you so much and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye!